Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Crab Champions and it has been a while since I uploaded a video for this game to the channel but there was a recent update. It's hard to see the early access roadmap up there but it was just released on Christmas and they have added quite a bit of new things to the game. In addition there's been some optimization upgrades and stuff like that so I'm ready to jump back into it and see what we can unlock. Now first things first they've added new melee weapons over here i only have access to the claw right off the bat so that it's kind of what that looks like it's like a 360 claw swipe generous range then we've got the dagger fast but limited can't get that one yet and the hammer slow but powerful so i'm looking forward to trying this one out but we've got to unlock some stuff first now interestingly enough too they have new abilities so it looks like instead of just going with the grenade you can actually swap it out for things like a grappling hook black hole laser beam and ice blast i assume that these would take the spot of your grenade and then you know whatever you've got your grenade button bound to that would trigger your hook or whatever else so and again these aren't quite opened up for me yet so we've got some unlocking to do here but you can see we've got our santa hat on i've got my trusty cluster launcher ready to go difficulty is just set to nightmare i'm not going for any of these here yet uh, I want to kind of get a feel for the game again. Let's see if we can unlock some. I do have a few keys. I've got seven keys, so let's just see. Now, this should unlock new loot, too. So, oh, there's the laser cannons. Okay, that's a new gun. Yeah, that's, that's one of the new ones. So, we just unlocked that with our keys. Let's go ahead and use that, then. Yeah, instead of the cluster launcher, we're going for a laser gun run. How's that sound? And this is double-fisted, so you got to go left, right, mouse button to shoot in tandem let's see oh that was it too okay i'm gonna need a, another key or two to unlock the next one it looks like you can only lock this once per run well there you go so let's jump into a brand new run like i said it's going to be nightmare mode with the laser pistols they've also added some new enemies and stuff so this should be interesting Whew. also you can do some side sliding so i'm gonna have to try and incorporate that a little bit more into my movements and stuff but here we go first island now my goal always was not to get hit on the first island it's just my personal like challenge that way we don't have to go into the second island in some sort of deficit or anything like that but not bad not bad okay didn't take a hit got a 40 crystals that's a respectable amount Let's see here. Oh, I can see there's a greed option for the next one. What do we want, though? We've got heavy grenade. I'm going to read all these, too, because I know they've added some new perks, and I think they've changed a few, so let's go through these. Heavy grenade. Grenades deal more damage or heavier, so it won't go as far. And wind up shots deal more damage. Reach out fire until stopping fire. Now, that could be really good for our laser. Look how fast that thing's shooting. Snake grenade. Yeah, we'll go with the wind up. Yep. So we can take a look at our weapon mods here by hitting the tab button. We can drop them if we want and change them out. Damage increase by 4% for each shot fire until stopping fire up to a max of 100 shots. And again, with these lasers, man, that's going to be quite a bit. So this is interesting. A new challenge. Triple the normal amount of enemy spawn for double skill chests. Or we could go for the greed chest. Greed is a bit of a double-edged sword. It could be extremely good and like really help the run or it could kind of screw us. I'm actually tempted to go for the new challenge since it's just triple the amount of enemies. We can handle that. Let's do it. Oh, that's an, you just see how quickly that loaded up to the next map. That was super fast compared to the old load times. So, and I mean, the old load times weren't bad, but that was ridiculously quick. I like that. I did read in the patch notes, the developer was saying that quick load times, they feels like essential to keep you in that like flow state of the game when you're just on a roll and you're just mindlessly killing stuff. You don't want to be sitting at a, like a load screen waiting, 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 right? So that's pretty considerate. I do like the developers, like their philosophy. They, it's all about fun. They've said it before, like anything that's fun, they want it in the game. If it's not fun, get rid of it, you know? All right, so island number two was pretty easy. I did take a hit there. So you can see in the bottom left, my health is at 139 to 50. So I did take a single hit, but that's okay. Let's see. Oh, we got an epic here. All you can eat. No ammo used for a short time after eliminating an enemy. Big claw melee range increased. 
uh, crystal fertilizer, more destructible crystals and health rock spawn. That might be new. I'm pretty sure that's a new perk. Bigger boom. That's a good one. Reload arc. Oh, that's also good too. Reloading fires and arc of projectiles. Grip tape. Damn, these are all good. I'm going to go with reload arc. That's actually a pretty sick ability right there. Because when you're shooting, obviously you're doing damage, but then you stop to reload and you would normally not be doing damage. But now, now we will. All right, let's see. Crystal fertilizer. I mean, you kind of got to go for the epic, right? No ammo use for a short time. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so we got another challenge here. It looks like a new one too. Rush, get an extra war chest if eliminating more than 60 enemies on an island. Damn, okay. Is that even possible on the third island? I don't know, but... Oh, this is a horde run too, so... That means that the enemies will just keep spawning until the island's over. Well, screw it, let's go for it. I don't know if we'll get that many, but... Normally in a horde run, I would usually, depending on the difficulty I'm playing on, kind of just avoid killing stuff. But, I mean, this this definitely encourages you to, doesn't it? So that's kind of cool. They've kind of, they probably realize most people just avoid enemies in the uh, in this type of game mode. Speaking of game modes, there are new mini games that were added. I should have showed those off in the, uh, in the lobby. But maybe after this run, we'll take a look at them. Or I could do a video dedicated to them. Yeah, that was a pretty quick run. We definitely didn't get 60 enemies killed. I've only got the one chest, but, you know, there's possible hidden chests on this island. And I know one location's right here. Sometimes you'll see a chest behind these bushes or right here, too. No chest. Okay. So we'll just go. Can I go through here? What? What is this? There's a little cave back here. What's that about? Oh, God, I don't want to get stuck. All right, that was weird. I thought it could go all the way through, but no. All right, so let's go claim our prize. And I will be checking for hidden chests, at least in the islands that I know where they could be. Oh, what's that? Uh, driller. Ooh, bronze heart. Grip tape's really good. What's driller again? Destroying destructible rocks has a greater chance of spawning loot. Not bad. Mm, grip tape. I think I'm going to go with the bronze heart. Just increase max health and heals us up. Now, what is this? Clear up to six waves of enemies. More waves, better rewards. But if you take damage, the island ends instantly. If a multiplayer... Yeah, we're not doing multiplayer, so... Okay, brand new type of island here. Let's go for it. Look at all the rocks. Damn. I should have selected that destructible rock perk, huh? Oh, dang it. I took damage. I took damage from my own... Oh, well, crap little self-inflicted damage there that was kind of a waste but all right well now i know yeah the wave one that was weak i just got bronze armor Ugh. goes to show you those waves you got to be a little careful huh all right now we know let's go ahead and grab our free crystals over here little heal up okay we're good no no bonus chest this time i always like to look and see what's ahead of me we got economy and a rando Okay, I got 258 crystals, so that's not bad. We can probably only afford one thing, though. Vampire heal after each melee. Heal when increasing your combo. Increase crit chance. Snake grenade. I don't like any of these, but I am going to go ahead and just grab healing combo. Because it's cheap, and actually having some healing ability is not bad. Let's go for... Uh, let's go economy. I like this island. Okay. Oof. Now, I did notice some of the new enemies on the last map. There were the starfish. I think there's a couple. Oh, hello, boy. I, I didn't really notice what they do, though. I, I got hit before I really had a chance to observe them closely. But I'm sure we'll encounter some more of the new enemies. These guys might be... What are these? Are these the slugs, or... Yeah, that's a grub. Okay. Are there any totems? No. Sometimes there's totems out there. But I don't see any. Now, again, there can potentially be a hidden chest on top of this thing. I'm pretty sure. And it's a little tricky, but it is doable to get up there. I won't make you guys sit through it if I can't do it on the first attempt. Here we go. Okay, we got it. There we go. No. Yeah, nothing there. No biggie. Gotta check, though. Gotta check. Those bonus chests can really help you run. 
if you get lucky. Crystal Dividends, a new one. Gain a percentage of your total crystal bonus after, oh, that's cool, after clearing each island. Enemies eliminated with critical hits drop more crystals. Oh, that's a big boy right there. Just straight up gain 700 crystals. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a horde run. So now we just got to survive the horde for an amount of time. Definitely going to go for the flawless. So that just means if I take no damage, we get extra chests. So this is literally the kind of horde I was talking about where we're just avoiding. I'm just going to avoid, avoid, avoid. I shouldn't even worry about trying to shoot. I mean, we could get some extra crystals, but... Honestly, it's better to just avoid, especially with the flawless. Keep them away. Stay away from me. Ooh, a little lag there. The water looks amazing right now. That was one of the things they did, I think, in the previous update, was they added a lot of nice-looking visuals. The game's still in early access, but it is fully playable, fully fleshed out. So many cool features. Anxious to try some of those mini games too. That's going to be cool. Oh, we're okay. We still, yeah, we should get that bonus chest. There we go, baby. Oh, is this a greed? Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It's a spike chest. I didn't realize that when I picked it, but that's okay. So we're going to lose some health opening these, but it's worth it. Let's see, big hearts. Gain more max health from hearts. All you can eat. No ammo use for a short. That'd be level two because we've already got that one, remember? and lightning aura oh the auras are amazing i'm gonna go for the aura bulletproof chance to block so aura is just like every few seconds yeah you can see it we we shoot out some lightning how often does that happen damage 15 six second cooldown okay uh bulletproof chance to block incoming damage eh. drill shot chance for shots to spawn damaging drills that's cool crit chance for crits to create powerful let's do drill shot I just like the look of that one. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves another wave. So I'm going to be extra careful here. Try and not hit myself with one of the exploding rocks like I did on the last one. This is a cool type of event or game mode. Interested to see how this works on some of the harder difficulties, but we'll just keep going. Try and stay alive as long as possible. Oh, and I see it shows me my current reward on the right there. Currently, we're at a rare chest. That's cool. Ooh, we got a, a little fire crab or something after us. He's going to be a hard one to get rid of. It's all right. That's all right. <gasps> oh, see, I hit myself again. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. got to watch those exploding rocks, man. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I think I just hit myself again like an idiot. That's all right. We got a better better reward this time. Or grenade's good. Let's go through these. Chance to fire slow, damaging waves along with your shots. Or grenade. Grenades are surrounded by auras that deal constant damage. That's good. Spark shot. Chance for shots to create bursts of damaging sharks on impact. Let's go with aura grenade. I like that. A little buff to our grenades. That can't hurt, right? All right, and oh, visiting the shop now. We got 1,700 crystals, maybe a few more here. A little bonus, very nice. Yeah, I think once I unlock some of those melee weapons back in the lobby, I'm gonna try for like a full just melee run at some point. Look at this ugly boy. What are you doing, Santa? All right, let's see what we got here. Stay focused, damage increase when at high health. Now, wind up shots do more damage for each shot fired until stopping fired. That's not bad. Uh, streak shot shots deal more damage for each shot you hit in a row without missing time shot shots deal more damage but damage is dealt over time that's actually decent for the bosses not so great for like the little weaker enemies that we encounter but we're actually up against the final epic or elite i should say for this island so i'm gonna grab that and we can re-roll oh uh, totem got destroyed wait was there a bonus chest no okay sometimes there'll be a chest like right here bonus chest not this time bullseye max health increased after every one shot elimination and eh, kind of so so zigzag shot I, it's kind of like how much does your max health increase if it's 50 that's good if it's like five it's not so great uh zigzag more damage but moving a zigzag pattern that might not be bad for us considering the velocity of our bullets that zigzag's probably almost negligible <gasps> lightning buff stack increase that would help with our lightning aura 
Reloading damages, knocks back. Let's do zigzag. I kind of want to see this. Oh yeah, see, you can barely tell. I can't even see the zigzag. Do you guys see that? Not at all. Now, should I buy another one? Yeah, I'll buy a high voltage because we got, we got the money. I could still afford one more. All right, screw it. I want to see what this bullseye does. Max health increased by one after each one shot elimination. So that's pretty crappy. But I mean, who knows? Maybe if I can get a thousand one shot eliminations, we'll be good. Oh, we got a lightning crab over here. Come on, mister. See how this, these laser pistols do against this bad boy? Typically, the lightning crabs are probably... I would say the... Oh my god, where the hell am I? One of the most dangerous elites. Come here, boy. Right through that. Yeah, go right through the fire. Smart man. Not. Okay, he's approaching half health. Crystal action. Oh, he's calling out some minions. Let's move. Go for a little jump pad again. Get airborne. Oh, cleared it. He went through that fire. All right. First island is done. Or I should say the first biome is done. We're on island 10. Let's open all these up. And there's my key. There's my bronze armor. And triple grenade. Chance to throw three grenades at once. Probably a pretty low chance. Ice aura. That's cool. Or damage grenade. Grenades deal more damage. So we've got lightning aura. I'm tempted to go for double auras. Yeah, let's do that. I'm telling you, I love these auras. So this is also, it says deals 15 and it flies. I think, I thought it froze enemy. Oh, it does say freeze and damage nearby enemies. Okay, cool. That's actually really helpful. Have the ability to freeze your enemies just randomly. Can be a lifesaver. All right. We are on biome number two. My least favorite biome. Only because there are some maps that you can like fall off the edge. <laughs> and I'm pretty terrible about that. Little melee, come on. Bring it on. Give me those crystals. I'm pretty sure that the one shot elimination does count for like a grenade. So if you grenade somebody in one shot or if you melee somebody, I think that counts too. But look, if you look at my health in the bottom left, it's hard to see it, but it says 202. So I've literally only one shot eliminated two enemies at this point. Uh, you know what I might end up doing is dropping that and just changing it in for some more crystals. It's going to be a bit of a waste, but I don't really care for that one. Let's see. Zigzag. Okay. So that'd be level two, just probably more damage shots, do more damage, fire rate reduced. Again, with the fire rate we got, we might not even notice that a steady shot, more damage when aiming, but less when hip firing. I'm going to go for zigzag level two. Yeah, so if we look at that now, you can see damage increased by 100%. Not bad. So, can I even aim with this? I don't even think I can aim with this, these guns. Anyway, it's all hip firing. Um, damage chest or luck? We'll go damage. Gotta have plenty of damage. Now, this is a new map. I don't know this map. Obviously, we're heading out here. Oh, there's a new enemy, too. See the starfish? Yeah, I don't know this map at all. Get out of my face. Ice slug. There, go, there goes the starfish flipping around. Okay, so a little bit of island right there. It's hard to see it. It looks very similar to the water or the ice or whatever. Oh, that's another change they made too, I think, is that now you will slide indefinitely on ice. And I'm pretty sure enemies slide too. I thought I saw, I was going to say, I thought I saw one more enemy flopping around. Jesus, this guy's like Superman over here. There you go. Gotcha. All right, where's my hidden chest? Where could that be? Pretty small looking map, isn't it? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe, can we go all the way over here? I don't want to waste too much time, but nope. Okay, there's the wall. Anyway, it's good to explore, though. If you're on your own playing, just single player, enjoying the game for yourself, I highly recommend you explore these maps because there are hidden chests. We haven't found any yet, but there will be some occasionally. All right, time shot. Shots do more damage. Dealt over time. That would be level two. Sonic boom, reloading, knocks back enemies. Snake grenade. Let's go for time shot level two. 
Ooh, get an extra war chest of eliminating more than 60 enemies on a horde run. I mean, why not? You know, it's like I'm still going to be extremely careful and try and avoid getting hit at all. But so in other words, oh, I just got hit. Okay. Uh, so in other words, we probably won't complete this challenge, but still, it's like, why not? Might as well try. Only 15 seconds here. Let's try and get these crystals. Oh, you see my lightning aura procking? That's amazing. I haven't seen the uh, freeze aura happen yet, though. Probably has. I just hadn't noticed it. Nah. I didn't even see him. Oh, wait. I did get double chests. Oh, nice. So we got it. Okay. I didn't think there was any way I'd get that many. What do we got? Driller. That's good. Chance to gain ammo and dealing damage. Also good. Auto loader. What else we got? Efficiency, auto loader, rigged totems. Hmm. Definitely not doing that. Let's go double auto loader. Chance to instantly reload after each elimination. Yeah, if we go double, that's going to be a pretty decent chance, right? 19% chance. Okay, it's not great. Could be a lot worse, though. I like that. All right, let's try. We got another wave here. So, oh, see, this is one of those maps you can fall off. It's also a map that possibly has a hidden chest, and I know exactly where it's at, too. So. Oh. 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 What? I'm stuck. Oh. Okay, I can't take a single hit of damage. We got some totems up, too. We'll get those after. Or we'll take a look at them. Okay, I'm looking at a rare chest right now. Don't fall off. Oh, snaps. All right, that's it. That's going to be it. Let's just jump off. That was disappointing, but like I said, I'm pretty bad about staying on land. Get a random pickup, but lose 20% of the health. Hold on, I want to see what... This is a glass totem, so it's just a freebie. Chaotic shot. Shots deal more damage, but move in random patterns. Yep. And what do we got here? Okay, targeting shot. Chance for shots to target nearby enemies on impact. That's not bad. Barrel explosion um, or lightning or a level two. Hold on. Let me read this for anybody out there who's not familiar. Grenades spawn homing explosive barrels when exploding. It's actually really good. And I do use my grenades quite a bit. Damn, I want that. Now, I'm going to go with the boost to our lightning aura because, of course, that's going to help the time. Deal 30 damage. Did it reduce the cooldown? Actually, I don't think it did. Damn it. That's okay. Now, we're on our way to the shop, which means that I will be healing a little bit. I think we can probably hit this totem. So we're going to lose some health, but we're going to heal it right back up in the shop. So nourishing, heal when salvaging pickups. So if you see, it says in the bottom right of this little panel there, X to uh, hold to salvage. So like I mentioned, I'm going to grab that. We'll take that. And then I'm going to come over to here. Where's that one I wanted to drop? This one. Okay, so now I should... What did it say? Heal? Yeah, heal 250. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to hold X. We'll get crystals for this. And we just fully healed, which is amazing. Okay, now we get a, a freebie here. Ice debuff stack increased. Yeah, I'll take it. I would have salvaged it if that totem hadn't destroyed itself, because then we could keep going, but that's that's pretty good. Pretty decent. Okay, we got some good crystals. 36 Hondo. Yeah, and you can see I'm fully healed now. All right, what do we got? Hard target. Incoming damage reduced. Paycheck. Gain crystals after clearing each eye. That's a good one. Um, oh, legendary, baby. Chance to fire in a square shot formation for basically wipe out all my crystals. How do you not? How do you not go for the legendary? Yeah. Oh, did that say 3% chance? Oh my god. Did you see it? It was there. It's very, very quick because the lasers are so fast. But that's it right there. That's the legendary perk. It just shoots in a square. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, my health is okay. I wish it was higher, but I'm going to go for damage. I want more damage. I want to be able to just like burn through the elite whenever we get to the final island. Oh, lightning or just proct. I saw him freeze. That was awesome. Get that, eat that grenade. 
Eat it. Another proc. Take that. Go right off the edge there. Yeah, baby. Also, hidden chest possible here, but I can see, I already know the location of it, and it's not there. It's up there if it was. Look at these idiots. Bro, you're stuck in a crack. What kind of a dummy gets stuck in a crack, you know? <laughs> oh, he's down. Oh, look at that one. Got you with my reload. No. Nope. Gotcha. All right. Uh, okay, so yeah, right there would be a chest. And it's obviously you would just get to it by jumping on these little things. But it's so easy to see it. If it's there, you'll see it. Oh, and that reminds me. I forgot to check the other hidden chest location on that previous island. Damn it. Oh, well. Time shot. Shots deal more damage, but damage is dealt over time. That would be level 3 for that. So, oops, I just picked it. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Um, I wanted to see damage increase by 300%. I mean, that's still decent. I'm glad we took it. I just wish we could have looked at the other ones. Um, so we got a horde here. Get an extra reward if eliminating more than 140 enemies. Let's go for it. Oh, I hate this map. Yeah, baby. Look at the crystals. Come to me. Come here, crystals. Oh, this grenade's gonna help seal the deal. Come on. The stones will help, too. Eliminate a whole bunch of enemies, undoubtedly. Nice. So, I'm, uh, Is there a counter here? Because I'm not seeing it on my screen. Was that it? Was that noise just indicating it? Oh, no. Something dropped. Oh, what do we get? Personal space. Max health increased after every close range elimination. One sec. Okay, is there a double chest? There is. I wish there was a counter. Are you guys noticing a counter? Because I didn't notice it. Oh, well. Snatcher. Finishing move. Gold. Ooh, gain crystals when healing. That's tough. Oh. <gasps> Medium crystal bundle for 7,300. Yes, please. And finishing move of enemies, eliminated crits, drop more crystals, snatch your enemies. To enemy, uh, we'll go with gold coating. So we gain whenever we heal. I like this map. Ooh, we got ourselves a nice little freebie. Come back for that in a second. There's another one over here. What the hell? Oh, it was a wave. Why am I so stupid? It's all right. We got a bunch of freebies here. So we've got bronze armor. Lame. Do you see those new enemies? That's the limpet, I think. Recoil shots do more damage, but recoil is heavily increased. Take it. I don't even notice recoil in this game, really. What is this? Loot. Get a random. But oh, yeah. Hold on. So take those crystals. Let's see. Is it... Ah, uh, yeah, so we're in the same situation here. Now we've got a, a shop visit next, so I can I can take a little damage. No big deal. Driller, destroying dest destructible rocks has a greater chance to spawn loot. Incoming damage reduced. Spiral shot. I'm going to take this one. Shots deal more damage, but moving a spiral pattern. Again, our velocity is so crazy that you don't even notice it. Like, it's still a pretty accurate weapon. Ah, it destroyed itself. Damage increased for a short time after eliminating enemy. Yes, please. So we've still got plenty of space here. I like this one too. All right, let's go. On to Tony's shop. This is Tony here, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, this is Tony the shopkeeper. Tony is resting in this cave for now, but we'll greet you with his usual charm in a future version of the game. Okay. Oh, another legendary pick, baby. And we can afford this one easily. Chance to fire in his... Oh, that's a level up. Yeah, I'm just noticing too the little tilde or the little pip above that indicates a level up doesn't it and we got a glass totem which is a freebie oh nice max health increased after yeah that's a good one okay i'll tell you what i am going to pick this because i'm hoping it increases it from what six percent to something better oh my god it didn't what 
Oh, was it 3%? Yeah, it was 3%. So it doubled it. That's what it was. Okay, okay. I was like, did they just buy that for no reason? <laughs> time bolt. Chance of fire bolts to deal damage over time along with your shots. Snake grenade. Healthy combo. I'm going to re-roll. Personal space. Damage shot. Oh, that's a good one. Just straight up. Plain and simple, four word sentence. I like that. Let's see what else. Double vision, chance to get an additional reward chest after clearing each island. It's probably a very low chance. High voltage. Let's grab this one. How much does it cost to reroll? 478. I think I'm gonna grab double vision. Yeah, it's probably, again, it's probably a very low chance. 15% chance, that's not bad. That's not bad. And we are quickly on to the next elite here. So if we defeat this guy, we're on to biome number three. So fingers crossed. Let's go for it. Ah, another freaking lightning crab. Are you kidding me? What's he doing? See those little numbers ticking off there? What's that? I have no idea what those blue numbers indicate. Is that his shield or something? He's got a very small shield on him. Just took a hit. It's hard to avoid hit, getting hit by these guys, the lightning crabs, because they are so chaotic. They just throw these stupid balls. I need to be moving. I shouldn't be trying to go toe to toe with them like I was. Just hit and run, hit and run like that. You like that grenade right in your face. Yeah, got to almost treat it like it's a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle is one of those that you just hit and run, hit and run. It's kind of the same with this. Oh my God, look at my health. Oh, get out of there. We got this. The pillars are my friend. Haha, <laughs> did you see that reload arc? Smacked him. Probably have like one, maybe two more hits. Well, okay, I got one more hit now. Come on. Oh, dang it. Eliminated. Oh, that was close. Oh, I can't believe I lost to that stupid lightning crab. Who gets two lightning crabs in a row? What's that about? Why couldn't it have been one of these dumb skulls, right? Oh, anyway, guys, that was not a bad one. Not a bad one. Like I said, it was my first time back here to Crap Champions after playing, or after not playing for several months, in fact, but I enjoyed it. So I am definitely going to be trying to unlock some new stuff. In fact, I think we did get a key, so let's try a new one. Oh, sweet. We got the hammer. Yes. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, that was my grenade while I was in the air. No, that's the hammer. Oh, it's got a long cooldown on it. Look at that. I thought that was the grenade. I thought I threw the grenade in the air. Boom. Oh, it's the laying the smack down on some folks. So obviously I have to unlock these with some more keys and stuff too. But boom, look at that. I like that. We can even do it in the air. Right on your head, Skull. Oh, man, that's cool. So I'm going to go with the hammer for the next run. Um, we did the laser cannons. They're okay. I do like the ability to um, actually aim the weapon, though. And, like, when you've got, like, this instead of hip firing. So when you've got double weapons, though, like the dual shotguns, you can't aim, you know? I don't know. Maybe I can rebind that to a different button. And then could we aim? I'm not sure about that. That's something I'll have to experiment with. But nonetheless, guys, got to give you a little taste of the new update. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments down below if you'd like to see a specific run or something like that or a specific melee weapon. Or like I said, maybe even we'll try out some of the mini games and stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you all on the next episode.